This is going to be a full guide on how to get GameCube games on your Wii U using Nintendo. This video is going to include how to set up the emulator and your games, how to get the forwarder channel on your VWi menu, as well as the Wii U forwarder channel. And I'm also going to show you how to play your GameCube games from USB Loader GX if you already have that set up. In order to do this guide, you will need your Wii U homebrewed with Aroma Custom Firmware in order for the Wii U forwarder channel to work. And you also need your VWi to be modded as well. So getting started, I will have three links down below. The first one will take you to Open Shop Channel for the Nintendo emulator. And this has a bunch of different information, including the controllers that you can use. But we want to grab the Nintendo file right here so click download file and once you have that we can exit there the next link will take you to the Google Drive page and this is the Nintendo forwarders this is both of them in one I'll just show you quickly it has a wad for Nintendo and a wub that the wubs for the Wii U but on this page just hit download and you will grab that file as well once it's downloaded exit and lastly, we need a way to install the VWi forwarder. So yum, mod me edition right here, just grab the zip file. But once you have all three of those downloads, we can exit our browser and open up our downloads and then open up the SD card we use to mod our Wii U. Mine is this hit like one right here. You do need an extraction software like 7-zip in order to open these files. So let's start off with Nintendo, open this zip file. And we're just going to click on apps, hold control and click on controllers as well. We'll just drag both of those onto the root of your SD card. Exit the zip file, delete it from your computer. Open up the Nintendo FS47 zip. Now this one, we have to go inside of this folder here until you see WAD and Wii U. Highlight both of those and drag them onto the root of your SD card. Once those are on, we can exit the zip file and delete it off of our computer. And lastly, Yom Mod Me, open it up. And this is a VWi homebrew app, so we're just gonna grab this apps folder and drag it on. I already have it, so I'm just gonna hit replace files. Exit the zip file and delete it off our computer. So we are done with the downloads. Now is time to set up our games. And before we do that, I'm gonna make sure my file extensions are showing. So click on view, show more and make sure there's a check mark under file name extensions. This is gonna help us with the setup. And in order to set them up on your SD, on the root, just create a folder and call it games, go inside. And now you need to create a folder for the game. So I'm gonna set up Super Mario Sunshine here. Just call it the game name, go inside, and you're gonna place your .iso file or .ciso file inside. And now we need to rename this, so right click on it, rename, and just call it game. And you want it to look like this. This is why I wanted to show your file extensions. Make sure you rename it to just game. If your file extensions are off, you wouldn't be able to see the ISO at the end. But now our Super Mario Sunshine is fully set up in games and the folder. And I have three other games I'm going to put on here. They are already set up. And there we go. If you're wondering why there is a game ID on Mario Kart Double Dash, that's because I used GameCube Backup Manager to set this one up, and that's just something it does. But as long as you have the game name and the game.iso file in there, you're good to go. And if you're wondering what Super Mario Eclipse is, it is a Super Mario Sunshine mod. I have a video in the description if you want to set it up yourself. And now that we're done setting up our games and our apps, we are ready to eject our SD card and plug it into our Wii U. I'll meet you over there. And once you're over on your Wii U, you will notice you now have the Nintendo forwarder on your Wii U menu, but you can't use it yet. We have to install the VWi forwarder first. So let's head on over to the VWi menu. And once you're here, head on into the homebrew channel. And you should see your Nintendo app, but first we are going to go to Yom Mod Me Edition and we're gonna get the forwarder installed. So load that one up. Select your source device, mine is SD slot, press A, and you should see your Nintendo forwarder. I have in a previous video installed the USB loader one, it's there as well, but just select A on Nintendo forwarder and A again to install. It should be pretty quick as it's not that large. There we go, press A to continue and just hit the home button and we'll go back to the homebrew channel. Let's go back to the VW menu. And there it is, you now have the Nintendo forwarder which means you can also load Nintendo using that Wii U forwarder app that we saw earlier. Let's load into the app. Ah, 
Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> Start it up. I, had, I just had to let that play through. Once it loads in, it will ask you what storage device. So choose where you have your games, mine are on SD, and they should show up right here. But before we start any games, press B to go to the settings. There's some things we need to change. Since we are on Wii U, we are not able to use a real GameCube memory card. So go down to mem card emulation and then press A to turn it on. That is the main setting we need to change. You'll have options to force the widescreen. You can force progressive. But as long as you have the mem card emulation changed, you'll be able to save your games. Press home to go back, go back into your game list, and now you should be able to start a game. But before we do that, I'm going to go back all the way to the Wii U menu and show you how that looks. And I just want to say, if you would prefer to have your GameCube games on your Wii U menu, so in these slots where you can play them directly from your Wii U menu, I will link a video in the top right here and you can check out UU VCI. It's a program that helps you create injects for your Wii U. But let's load into Nintendo through the Wii U menu. It's a pretty good looking forwarder if I do say so myself. And there we go. So let's go ahead and load a game. Let's do Super Mario Eclipse and then you can see. And I would suggest using a classic controller for this. It'll give you a much better experience. And here we go, we're playing our game. But now that we know our games work, Let's head over to USB Loader GX and get them set up over there. And if you don't have USB Loader GX set up, I do have a different video for that. And that will also be linked in the description or in my Wii U modding playlist. All right, so we're loaded in and you can already see that mine show up. The first thing that we're going to change is go to the fourth icon from the left in the hotbar and make sure you have GameCube games checked. Press OK. And now we need to go into the settings go into loader settings and go down until you see GameCube. So it should have auto already on and it detected Nintendo. But if yours does not say your GameCube mode as Nintendo, uh, just change it to so. These are the older GameCube emulations, but Nintendo is the best out of those three. You can turn on your progressive patch if you would like. And then you also have some of the Nintendo settings options in here as well. <laughs> My dog is howling. And if you keep scrolling down, you'll find the rest of the Nintendo settings. Here we can change, you can change your video deflicker, keep going, and you should see an option. And just make sure your memory card emulation is on individual or on. Either of those work. Just don't have it off. But as long as you have those settings changed, we can go back, back again. If your GameCube games still are not showing up, go back into settings, go right, Go down to custom paths, scroll down until you see main GameCube path. But as long as one of these two options here, main GameCube path or SD GameCube path are set to SD slash games, you are good to go. I'm just gonna quickly show you how to change the custom path. So just click on it and then you just show them where. So press on games and okay. Make sure you don't select the actual game itself, just the folder so it looks like this. Press okay and they should show up now. And there we go. If you wouldn't prefer to have this page and you want this page here with all the covers, you can go to this icon here in the hotbar, click on the cover, and option to download the cover options. Press yes. This is a common issue on the virtual Wii where it's just stuck on this screen. So if you are interested in a video on how to get the covers without internet, let me know down below and I can make that video in the future using GameCube Backup Manager. But let's load up Mario Party 6 from USB Loader GX. Start it up. And as you can see, it loads into Nintendo first and then loads into the game. And here we go, we are now playing Mario Party 6. If I did help you out, please smash that like button, it helps me out and it's free. And make sure to subscribe with the bell notification on so you don't miss the next modding video. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>